Welcome back, my faithful companions. Come for another Drift Garage tale, have you? In the last episode, we saw... <laughs> Come now, sit back, and grab a decanter of your favorite elixir, and let's see how Christopher Forsberg and friends fare in their missile build. My eyes do not betray me. I believe that is Ryan Turk, Christopher's longtime companion. I'm sure he'll be a healthy addition to this hearty workload. Pro tip, when you're building a race car, every ounce counts. Pulling the sound deadening out of a car could be a pain in the ass, but you grab a little dry ice, and a hammer and a chisel, you're good to go. What a wonderful tip. Remember kids, you must be 18 or older to buy dry ice in many states. The same goes for tobacco, firearms, and pornography. Go ask your parents to get these items for you if you're not of age. Now watch closely as the boys swap some rusty parts off their old shitty motor and torque wrench them onto their new shitty motor. We finished pulling the bad motor out, we got the frame straightened up, and we got the interior all thrown out. We don't need any of that crap. Now we're on to prepping our new engine. Same motor, it's still the factory 240SX engine. Makes about 140 horsepower stock, but uh, before we put it in, we got this Isis turbo kit we're gonna throw on there, get about another 100, 120 horsepower or so, right? I'd say about And right. uh, make it way more fun to drive. So this is a turbo. And this is the manifold. Turbos are the most cost-effective way to add horsepower to your car. So manifold is going to bolt to the side on the exhaust, and a turbo bolts to this, and basically the exhaust gas is going through. These runners here are going to spool the turbo to help compress more air getting into the engine. So more air and fuel makes more horsepower, more fun. Sir, grab me a 14 wrench. Oh, it's my favorite thing in the world, dude. Just love scraping gaskets all day. <laughs> so we'll go through the engine, change the filters and the spark plugs so we know that it's running 100%. Oh, here we are.
Pro tip, when you're sick of working on your own bullshit missile car, steal your friend's car. It's all fun and games to steal your friend's car until you break something. Please do be careful with that cherished example of missile history. All right, we got the motor in the car, it's ready to go. The turbo's on there, it's gonna make a lot of extra heat with that extra horsepower. So we got this intercooler, which is gonna cool that air down. Turk over here has got the pipe and they'll hook it all up. Yeah! Ah! <laughs> We just finished up with the ISIS turbo kit and intercooler kit and we're moving on to a very important part of the engine, the radiator. When we're thrashing on missile cars all day, the biggest problem is trying to keep them cool. So I use Mishimoto rads in all my race cars, missile cars, everything. So we're going to repurpose this one into this project to keep this engine running cool. Alright Turk, well I'm done. You got I need to do it. Bro. Are we Fired good? Up. Fired up? Fire All right, let's suck her up. Ready? Fire it! First try. That's right. Main Turk nailed it. Car started first try. Tradition around the shop is you get your car run, crack open a beer. Pro tip S13s make great bottle openers. Join us next time where the boys tune up the car and get it ready for some race tracking abuse. As always, it has been a true pleasure, and I do hope that you join us on the next episode of Drift Garage. Stay sideways, my friends. <laughs>